Taylor Swift and Deanna 2012-2014, read. In August 2012, Swift released We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, the lead single from her fourth studio album, Red. It became her first number one in the USA and New Zealand, and reached the top slot on iTunes Digital Song Sales Chart 50 minutes after its release, earning the fastest-selling single in digital history Guinness World Record. Other singles released from the album include Begin Again, I Knew You Were Trouble, 22, Everything Has Changed, the last time, and read, I knew you were trouble peak within the top five on charts in Australia, Canada, Denmark, Ireland, New Zealand, the UK and the USA. Three singles, Begin Again, 22, and Red, reached the top 20 in the USA. Red was released on October 22, 2012. On Red, Swift worked with new producers besides longtime collaborators Nathan Chapman and Liz Rose, Max Martin, Shellback, Dan Huff, Jeff Basker, Butch Walker, Dan Wilson, and Jack Knifley. The album incorporates new genres for Swift, such as Heartland Rock, Dubstep and Dance Pop. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 1.21 million copies. This made Swift the first female to have two million selling album openings, the record recognized by the Guinness World Records. It was Swift's first number one album in the UK. The Red Tour ran from March 2013 to June 2014 and grossed over $150 million, becoming the highest grossing country tour when it completed. Red had sold 8 million copies by 2014. The album earned several accolades, including four nominations at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards in 2014. Its single I Knew You Were Trouble won Best Female Video at the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards. Swift received American Music Awards for Best Female Country Artist in 2012 and Artist of the Year in 2013. She received the Nashville Songwriters Association's Songwriter Slash Artist Award for the fifth and sixth consecutive years in 2012 and 2013. Swift was honored by the association with a special Pinnacle Award, making her the second recipient of the accolade after Garth Brooks. During this time, she had a short-term relationship with English singer Harry Styles. In 2013, Swift recorded Sweeter Than Fiction, a song she wrote and produced with Jack Antonoff for the One Chance film soundtrack. The song received a Best Original Song nomination at the 71st Golden Globe Awards. She provided guest vocals for Tim McGraw's song Highway Don't Care, featuring guitar work by Keith Urban. Swift performed as Tears Go By with the Rolling Stones in Chicago, Illinois as part of the band's 50 and Counting tour. She joined Florida Georgia Line on stage during their set at the 2013 country radio seminar to Sin Cruz. Swift voiced Audrey a tree lover, in the animated film The Lorax, 2012, made a cameo in the sitcom New Girl, 2013, and had a supporting role in the film adaptation of The Giver, 2014, 2014 to 2017, 1989. In March 2014, Swift lived in New York City. Around this time, she was working on her fifth studio album, 1989, with producers Jack Antonoff. Max Martin, Shellback, Imogen Heap, Ryan Tedder, and Ali Payami. She promoted the album through various campaigns, including inviting fans to secret album listening sessions. Influenced by 1980s synth pop, Swift severe ties with the country sound of her previous albums, and marketed 1989 as her first documented, official pop album. The album was released on October 27, 2014. Swift performing during the 1989 World Tour, the highest grossing tour of 2015. 1989 sold 1.28 million copies in the USA during the first week of release, and debuted atop the Billboard 200. This made Swift the first act to have three albums albums sell more than 1 million copies in their opening week, for which she earned a Guinness World Record. By June 2017, 1989 had sold over 10 million copies worldwide. Three of its singles, Shake It Off, Blank Space, and Bad Blood featuring rapper Kendrick Lamar, reached number one in Australia, Canada, and the USA. The singles Style and Wildest Dreams reached the top ten in the USA. Other singles were Out of the Woods and New Romantics. The 1989 World Tour ran from May to December 2015, and was the highest grossing tour of the year with $250 million in total revenue prior to 1989's release. Swift stressed the importance of albums to artists and fans.
In November 2014, she removed her entire catalog from Spotify, arguing that the streaming company's ad-supported free service undermined the premium service, which provides higher royalties for songwriters. In a June 2015 open letter, Swift criticized Apple Music for not offering royalties to artists during the streaming service's free three-month trial period, and stated that she would pull 1989 from the catalog. The following day, Apple announced that it would pay artists during the free trial period, and Swift agreed to stream 1989 on the streaming service. Swift's intellectual property rights management and holding company, TAS Rights Management, filed for 73 trademarks related to Swift and the 1989 year MMs. She re-added her entire catalog plus 1989 to Spotify, Amazon Music and Google Play, and other digital streaming platforms in June 2017. Swift was named Billboard's Woman of the Year in 2014, becoming the first artist to win the award twice. At the 2014 American Music Awards, Swift received the inaugural Dick Clark Award for Excellence. In 2015, Swift won the Bridge Award for International Female Solo Artist. The video for Bad Blood won Video of the Year and Best Collaboration at the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards. Swift was one of eight artists to receive a 50th Anniversary Milestone Award at the 2015 Academy of Country Music Awards. At the 58th Grammy Awards in 2016, 1989 won Album of the Year and Best Pop Vocal Album, and Bad Blood won Best Music Video. Swift was the first woman and fifth act overall to win album of the year twice as a lead artist swift dated scottish dj and record producer calvin harris from march 2015 to june 2016 prior to their breakup they co-wrote the song This Is What You Came For, which features vocals from Barbadian singer Rihanna. Swift was initially credited under the pseudonym Nils Jelberg. She subsequently dated English actor Tom Hiddleston for a few months. She began dating English actor Joe Alwyn in September 2016. Swift wrote the song Better Man for Little Big Town's seventh album, The Breaker, which was released in November. The song earned Swift an award for Song of the Year at the 51st CMA Awards. Swift and English singers A Malik released a single together, I Don't Wanna Live Forever, for the soundtrack of the film Fifty Shades Darker, 2017. The song reached number two in the USA, and won Best Collaboration at the 2017 MTV Video Music Awards. 2017-2018, Reputation. In August 2017, Swift successfully sued David Mueller, a former morning show personality for Denver's Kygo FM. Four years earlier, Swift had informed Mueller bosses that he had sexually assaulted her by groping her at an event. After being fired, Mueller accused Swift of lying and sued her for damages from his loss of employment. Shortly after, Swift countersued for sexual assault for nominal damages of only a dollar. The jury rejected Mueller's claims and ruled in favor of Swift. Swift thereafter cleared her social media accounts and released Look What You Made Me Do as the lead single from her sixth album, Reputation. The single was Swift's first first number one UK single. It topped charts in Australia, Ireland, New Zealand and the USA. Swift on her Reputation Stadium Tour 2018, the highest grossing North American tour of all time. Reputation was released on November 10, 2017. The album incorporates a heavy electro-pop sound, with hip-hop, R, and B and EDM influences. It debuted atop the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 1.41 million copies. With this achievement, Swift became the first act to have four albums sell one million copies within one week in the USA. The album topped the charts in the UK, Australia, and Canada. First week worldwide sales amounted to two million copies. The album had sold over 4.5 million copies worldwide as of 2018. It spawned three other international singles, including the USA Top 5 entry Ready For It, and two USA Top 20 singles, and Game featuring Ed Sheeran and Rap future, and delicate. Other singles include New Year's Day, which was exclusively released to USA Country Radio, and Getaway Car, which was released in Australia only. In April 2018, Swift featured on Sugarland's Babe from their album Big
Baker. In support of Reputation, she embarked on her Reputation Stadium tour, which ran from May to November 2018. In the USA, the tour grossed $266.1 million in box office and sold over 2 million tickets, breaking Swift's own record for the highest-grossing USA tour by a woman, which was previously held by her 1989 World Tour in 2015. 181 dollars and 50 cents million it also broke the record for the highest grossing north american concert tour in history worldwide the tour grossed 345.7 million dollars making it the second highest grossing concert tour of the year in late november big machine records released a reputation stadium tour playlist for streaming services the playlist includes every song performed on b stages during the reputation stadium tour on december 31st swift released her reputation stadium tours accompanying concert film on Netflix. Reputation was nominated for Best Pop Vocal Album at the 61st Annual Grammy Awards in 2019. At the American Music Awards of 2018, Swift won four awards, including Artist of the Year and Favorite Pop Slash Rock Female Artist. After the 2018 AMAs, Swift garnered a total of 23 awards becoming the most awarded female musician in AMA history, the record previously held by Whitney Houston. 2018-2020, Lover and Masters Dispute. Reputation was Swift's last album under her 12-year contract with Big Machine Records. In November 2018, she signed a new multi-album deal with Big Machine's distributor Universal Music Group, in the USA. Her subsequent releases were promoted under the Republic Records imprint. Swift said the contract included a provision for her to maintain ownership of her master recordings. In addition, in the event that Universal sells any part of its stake in Spotify, Spotify agreed to distribute a non-recoupable portion of the proceeds among their artists. Swift released her seventh studio album, Lover, on August 23, 2019. Besides longtime collaborator Jack Antonoff, Swift worked with new producers Louis Bell, Frank Dukes, and Joe Little. Lover was Swift's sixth consecutive album to sell more than 500,000 copies in one week in the USA, making Swift the first female artist to do so. All 18 songs from the album charted on the Billboard Hot 100 the same week, setting the record for the most simultaneous entries by a woman. The lead single, Me, debuted at number 100 on the Billboard Hot 100 and rose to number 2 a week later, scoring the biggest single week jump in chart history. Other singles from Lover were the USA Top 10 singles You Need to Calm Down and Lover, and USA Top 40 single The Man. Lover was the world's best-selling studio album of 2019, selling 3.2 million copies. The International Federation of the Phonographic Industry IFBI, honored Swift as the global best-selling artist of 2019. This made Swift the first woman to win the honor twice. She had previously won in 2014. The album earned accolades, including three nominations at the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards in 2020. At the 2019 MTV Video Music Awards, Me won Best Visual Effects, and You Need to Comp Down One Video of the Year and Video Are Good. Swift was the first female and second artist overall to win Video of the Year for a video that they directed. Swift won six awards at the 2019 American Music Awards, including Artist of the Year and Artist of the Decade. Swift played Bombalurin in the movie adaptation of Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical Cats, 2019. She recorded an original song called Beautiful Ghosts, which she wrote with Webber for the film's soundtrack. Although critics reviewed the film negatively, Swift's role received positive feedback. The documentary Ms. Americana, which chronicles part of Swift's life and career, premiered at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival and was released on Netflix on January. January 31, 2020. 220, 221, Miss Americana features the song Only the Young, which Swift wrote after the 2018 United States elections. In February 2020, Swift signed an exclusive global publishing deal with Universal Music Publishing Group, 
after her 16-year-old contract with Sony slash ADV Music Publishing expired during promotion for Lover in 2019, Swift became embroiled in a publicized dispute with talent manager Scooter Brown and her former label Big Machine, regarding the acquisition of the masters of her back catalog. Swift stated she had been trying to buy the masters for years, but Big Machine only allowed her to do so if she exchanged a new album for an older one under another contract which she chose not to. In April 2020, Big Machine released Live From Clear Channel Strips 2008, a live album of Swift's performances at a 2008 radio show, which Swift did not authorize. In October, Brown sold Swift's masters, videos and artworks to Shamrock Holdings for a reported $300 million. Swift began re-recording her back catalog in November 2020. 2020 present folklore, evermore and re-recordings. In 2020, Swift released two surprise albums to critical acclaim, with little promotion. The first, her eighth studio album Folklore, was released on July 24. The second, her ninth studio album Evermore, was released on December 11. Swift wrote and recorded the albums while in isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic, working with producers Jack Antonoff and Aaron Desner from The National. Both albums feature collaborations with Bon Iver, and Evermore features collaborations with The National and Haim. Swift co-wrote some songs with her boyfriend Joe Alwyn, under the pseudonym William Bowery. Described by Swift and Desner as sister records, both albums embrace an indie folk and alternative rock production, a departure from the previous upbeat pop releases. In the USA, Folklore and Evermore were each supported by three singles, one to mainstream radio, one to country radio, and one to AAA radio. The singles in that order were Cardigan, Betty, Exile featuring Bon Iver, and Willow, Nobody, No Crime featuring Hay, Coney Island featuring The National, respectively. In Germany, Folklore was supported by another single, The One. The lead singles from each album, Cardigan and Willow, debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100 the same week their parent albums debuted atop the Billboard 200, making Swift the first artist to debut atop both the USA singles and albums charts simultaneously. Both albums sold over 1 million units worldwide in its first week, with Folklore selling 2 million. Backslash Folklore broke the record for first day album streams by a female artist on streaming platform Spotify. The record registered in the Guinness World Records. It was the best-selling album of 2020 in the USA having sold 1.2 million copies by January 2021. On November 25, Swift released the self-directed concert film Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions, documenting the making of Folklore, on Disney Plus. At the 2020 American Music Awards, she won three awards, including Artist of the Year for a record third consecutive time. Swift received six nominations at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, winning Album of the Year for Folklore. She is the first woman in history to win the award three times. In February 2021, Swift was featured on Haim's single Gasoline from the expanded edition of Haim's 2020 album Women in Music Pines. I, I, I. The re-recorded issue of Swift's 2008 album Fearless, titled Fearless, Taylor's version, was released on April 9, 2021, and subsequently debuted at number one in the US. It was preceded by Love Story, Taylor's version, the re-recorded version of her original 2008 rendition, and two new tracks, You All Over Me with Marilyn Morris and Mr. Perfectly Fine in May 2021. Swift was awarded the Global Icon Award by the Brits and the Songwriter Icon Award by the National Music Publishers Association. For her impact on music, please like and subscribe to my channel is correct. For more yeah. entertainment, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thanks for watching. Yours, Jelly Santa. Yeah.